Remember that awesome gallery of AI prompts I showed you a while back? The one that made creating stunning images so much easier. Well, today I'm uncovering a new treasure. Meet PixPrompt, AI Image Generation Prompts Gallery. It's a complete and practical website packed with ready-made ideas and instructions for all AI image generation tools. In this video, we're going to learn how to use this site to create the best and most unique images from start to finish. Make sure to hit that like button. Ready? Let's dive in. As always, I'll start with Google and search for the phrase, Google AI Studio. The first website you see here is the Google AI Studio site. I'll click on it and open it up. This is the site's first page. I've used it many times in my tutorials, so I think my longtime followers are familiar with it. If this is your first time seeing it and using the site, to get started, we click on Nano Banana right here. Alternatively, you can check out all the tools this platform offers on the right side, including all of Google's new tools like Gemini Flash, Imagen 4, and Nano Banana. You can click on Nano Banana here. I want to go back to Google again and search for the phrase PixPrompt. The first result is the Google Play site, where you can see and download the app. Since we want to use the website, the second result is the one we'll click on to enter the site. We enter the site, and this is the initial page. This site doesn't require registration, but if you want to stay updated on new information and fresh prompts, you can sign up. It has a very simple user interface. By scrolling down, you can see all the images, and by clicking on this option which I'm doing now you can copy the prompt for that image. If you want to view the full image, you can click on it to open it. After copying the prompt, we return to Google AI Studio. Now, from this section, you can upload your images from your drive or your system. I click on Upload File, and this page opens. I've prepared some images on my system for this tutorial that we've used before, and I'll use them again. I'll start by using the image of this boy. I'll upload it and wait for the upload to complete. I'll paste the prompt we copied right here. In this section, you see the aspect ratio, which allows you to control the size of your image. In my opinion, you should always leave this on auto. Because, for now, when we change it to our desired sizes, the image tends to look a bit corrupted. Now, I'll hit the generate button and wait for the image to be created. This takes about 1-2 to two minutes. I highly recommend using high quality photos with good lighting. Our image is generated. Look how beautifully it was made. I'll open both images so we can see them together. It created a very beautiful image. I'll place the two images side by side so you can compare them. It created a lovely photorealistic image that you can use for your profile. Now, I'll go back to the PixPrompt site. By scrolling down, I'm looking for a more diverse image. I like this image. I'll copy its prompt and return to the site. Now, I'll upload another image. After uploading, we wait for the image to load on the site, and then we paste our prompt in this area. Now, I'll hit generate and wait for the image creation. Our image is ready. It's truly incredible. Nano Banana is absolutely amazing at this. See for yourselves and compare. It created a beautiful watercolor for us. Now, I'll browse through the images again to find another different style to use. There are plenty of images here that you can use to have lots of new experiences. Since my previous tutorial had good views, and I saw that my dear followers liked it, that's why I made a tutorial on this topic. I'd love for you to tell me in the comments what kind of tutorials you'd like to see next. Now, I'll select this image and copy its prompt. I'll return to Google AI Studio and upload one of my other images. I'm using various images so you can see how it performs the task. I choose this image and upload it. Now, 
I paste my prompt here. I'll wait for the image to upload and then click the generate option. Let's wait for the image to be created again. The image is generated. It's truly cute and beautiful. I really love it, and I hope you like it too. It worked perfectly. You can also download it from this section. Now, let's go for another unique image. I think this one is good. It's used a lot on Instagram. I'll upload another different image. I paste the prompt here and hit generate again to see how it creates it this time. Our image is created. This one is also excellent. I really like it, it's very interesting. The interesting point is that the image character is created with minimal change, which is really fantastic. Here, I want to use a product, so I'll copy the prompt. I return to the site and select the product I want to use. I have an image of a Pepsi can, and I'll upload it. I paste my prompt here. The point you need to pay attention to here is that the text seems slightly different from the image there, and we need to modify it a bit. Here, wherever you see Coca-Cola, change it to Pepsi. And I wanted to use a red theme, so I'm changing the color as well. Then, for the parts that say brand name, I erase brand name and write the word Pepsi. After making our desired changes, I'll go to the size and set it to the Instagram slash TikTok size, which is 916. Now I hit generate and wait for it to be created. Our image is created. It's good, very fantasy and art-like. I just notice here that the can is upside down, but overall, I like it, it's very good. The point I mentioned at the beginning of the video is clearly visible here, it's better not to change the size for now, as that's what happens when we change the size. Now let's try again to confirm this. I return to the Pix prompt site again. From this section, you can choose your desired theme, and there are many diverse themes. It helps you better select what you have in mind. I'll select a few to see how it works. I like this one, which is at the gym. I'll copy its prompt and return to Nano Banana. I'll choose another image from here. I paste my prompt here, and after the image is uploaded, I click the Generate option. I wait for the image to be created. My image is generated, and an interesting point that I realized and recommend you follow is to not touch the aspect ratio for now and leave it as is. The image is fantastic, but the phone is floating in the air, which seems like a bug. Let's test the point I told you about. I'll set the size to auto. By clicking the rerun option, I want it to create the same image for me again. We wait for it to be created. The image is generated. It's superb. It made it perfectly. It's exactly the image I sent, and this time the phone is being held in his hand. One more interesting and important thing, make sure to always use images that have enough light. See how easily we were able to access thousands of ideas and create amazing images using PixPrompt. Now it's time for you to unleash your creativity. If this tutorial was helpful, please make sure to give our video a like, as it helps me create more content like this for you. For more tutorials in the exciting world of AI, subscribe to the Desire channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Until the next tutorial, stay creative and goodbye.